What's going on, Aqua Force? Welcome back to the Watchman Queen Channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back. Today is Wednesday, man. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not having a great Wednesday so far, hopefully I can put a smile on your face and I can uplift you. you know I'm saying we can laugh at this video together. All right? Make sure you guys keep sending me reactions, man. Okay? Keep sending them through. We're growing so fast on this channel. It's amazing to freaking see. Okay? Almost at them 40K already. You know what I'm saying? We can get there a lot faster. If you guys just do y'all part and send me funny reactions, lit videos, any new drama, anything that y'all think that I could react to that we could watch together and make a lot of jokes and have a good time on with on this channel, send them to me. Link in the description on Instagram through the DMs. I appreciate y'all. Okay? So, will his girlfriend get in bed with his best friend? UDY loyalty test. Man. So we've well, we have, we've reacted to a couple of this niggas videos before. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's some really geeky nigga. They just be you know uh, catching people cheating on uh, people. So should be quite should be quite entertaining. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. Is Carlos's girlfriend using him for his money? Today we put together a test to help him find out. What's up, guys? And welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are ready for this. <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome back to a brand new video one because this one's crazy so you never got back to me on that text i sent you what about my only fans i need i need to feature someone new on there this is carlos's girlfriend let's just call her t like many others she is not in the best financial situation she has many unpaid debts only makes minimum wage and lives paycheck to paycheck now this is what but i bet you she just got a whole list of what she expects a man to come with a man gotta be six this a man got to have this much money if you ain't got this, th th a whole laundry list of things. But you're broke. Females are hilarious. Hysterical. One of Carlos's best friends named Dorian. He feels bad that T is struggling and understands her situation, but he also feels like she's with Carlos for all the wrong reasons. Dorian yep. feels like T is simply using Carlos What's for What's up with this nigga, man? Why do you look... <laughs> he looked like he already found out that she cheated. <laughs> he just pissed off. For this test, we're gonna have him play our decoy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to make some money with me through my OnlyFans. I'm gonna you know, record some content, easy money. You don't need to have an actual job. Yeah, you heard that correctly. For this test, Dorian would be asking T if she would be down to do some sensual online content with him for financial stability. You know, people post whatever they want on OnlyFans. Some people only post food pics. Some people only post bikini pics. I post way more than that. Way more than that. You could, you could pretty much call me a star if I'm being real. Okay, now here's where things get a little crazy. See, Dorian has kind of already put Carlos's girlfriend to the test, but the results were arguably inconclusive. A couple weeks ago, I was like, bruh, I'm gonna try a lady right now. And I sent her a text. I was like, hey, you know, I got an OnlyFans. You trying to make some videos with me, whatnot. You know, let's make some content together. And she was hesitant, but she definitely didn't say no. This was T's response to Dorian's request. Again, for some, T's response. Definitely didn't say no. This was T's response. Are you for real? I can't tell if this is a joke. No, this is not a joke. I'm being dead ass. If we're down to get together and make some old compromise too, you would make a killing. She said, let me think about it. Mm. To Dorian's request. Again, for some, T's response would have been enough. For others, not so much. Carlos, though, fell somewhere in the middle, which is why he wanted to basically finish what Dorian started. Now look, T is going through a rough financial time, and she might actually be down to do some sensual OnlyFans content for some extra money, which is fine and not the issue. The issue is, will she be willing to make that content behind her boyfriend's back and with one of his best friends? Aww. Hey, love, what you go to? Sleeping. Sleepy, you still sleep? Oh, get your broke ass up! So this test would be going down in our apartment. Carlos and Dorian actually model in real life, so we constructed a scenario around a fake photo shoot. The two friends would, of course, play the models, and our friend Fonte would play the photographer. I know nothing about photography, <laughs> so... Yeah. Now, in order to get T to come here, we had Carlos ask her to bring one of his jackets that he purposely forgot at her apartment. I left my jacket at your place, and the photographer's actually here just letting me know that I need that jacket. Like, I 
I don't literally don't have any other option. So I was wondering if you can go on ahead and you can bring that jacket to me, please. Oh, I'm sleeping. It's my day off. I'm tired. I'll treat you nice after we done, but can you go on ahead and do that for me? So see you soon. I'll go on ahead and I'll send you the address. Wait, hang on. What jacket do you need? It's the black and blue jacket. It's literally split in half. It's on the black hanger. You're gonna call me an Uber. Yes. I need the address. I'll send it. I'll do it right now. It took a little convincing, but in the end, T agreed to bring the jacket. We called her an Uber, got into position, and about an hour after that phone call, she was finally here. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, Carlos is getting a phone call here, guys. Hello? Hey, um, I think I'm here. I don't know. This is really confusing. I don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> Dory is gonna go get you right now. If I'm being totally honest, uh -huh. I'm like 99% she's gonna fail. Hopefully, though, hopefully I'm wrong because, like, for Carlos' sake, I don't want him to end up hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. See if I can do yeah. that. Hi. Oh, what's up? How are you? So we're in the middle of the, obviously the photo shoot. If you want to sit here, the couch, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'll sit here. Can I go ahead and get some of the shots of, uh, of you? With T now here, our next step was to get her and Dorian by themselves. So Carlos informs her that he and Fonte are about to head to the roof to take some pictures with a jacket that she just brought. I think you're wrapped. You're good. Um, yeah, we're solid. If you just want to hang out here, um, I'm going to... We're gonna go ahead and get those photos. You mind if I take him real quick? We're gonna go shoot the last shots. We try to get it done as fast as possible. Fonte and Carla successfully make their exit and begin making their way over to us. So I was over to you. How you been? I'm fun over as right now. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you do? Drinking. That's what I drank. Sup, <laughs> you know how fast my heart is beating right now. Yeah, how are you feeling, dude? How is everything? I'm so, like, anxious right now. Really? Happen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us full circle. Dorian is by himself with T, and he is about to finish what he started. Film Degrees at Full Sail University puts the tools in your hands to develop your artistic vision and become a creative story. So you never got back to me on that text I sent you? What about my OnlyFans? I need I need to feature someone new on there. Well, I don't know if I believe you. Well, well, I, I was dead serious. I have OnlyFans. And How long I, have you been doing it? Um, since the pandemic first started. I had got laid off and I opened that up and then I more than covered all my bills. My best month I made 20000 Okay, you're back. What, how much do you average though? 8000 8000 Yeah. You know, people post whatever they want on OnlyFans. Some people post some people only post bikini pics. Okay. I post way more than that. Way more. You could you could pretty much call me a star if I'm being real. But I'm just you know what? I'm just I'm just saying I'm gonna I'm gonna if you want to. Uh, you want to see? Okay. Right, so let me just log in. She just said okay to seeing your boys bro. Yeah, that's wild. Like what more do we need? Maybe it's a business inquiry. It's a business inquiry. So, yeah. This nigga actually be doing that on there? Good Lord, wow. She said, Good Lord, wow. What the f does that mean? There's clearly something she just saw that f enticed her. On OnlyFans, you can send videos to people's messages, and then they gotta pay to view that message. Think of it as like a as a Netflix subscription. The most, the most money I made off one video, I sold a video for $75. I'm not gonna talk about the content of the video. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. But I sold it for seventy-five dollars, and I had like eighty something people buy it for seventy-five dollars each. Oh my god! If, we, if you can help me match that energy, I can break you off a lot. And I know, I know you kind of like financially struggling, right? Or no, no, you're right. No. I um, yeah, no, I've been working a lot, like really hard to make the minimum wage, and it's just not enough. And honestly, like that's why I'm like still with Carlos, like because because he supports you kind of. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, oh she's like planning on this. That's when crazy. This, make videos with me. She said that's the only reason why I'm still with Carlos because she financially hey, financially for supports her. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. She sound worse than these broke niggas. Send it to like my people's DMs. And I'll give you 50% off of whatever they pay for it. I'm sorry, not 50% off. I'll give you half the cut. Okay, I have questions about that before I get into the 
solid yes. All right, what questions do you like? What, what would I have to do? Oh, the crazy thing is that she's interested. Like, that shouldn't even be happening, to be honest. Well, she just said that, what do I have to do? That's what I'm saying, bro. That's some bullshit. It's not going to be no mean stuff. It's going to be stuff like what, I, like what I just showed you. Like, I'm, like, kind of stuff. Pretty much like that. Pretty much like that. I've never done anything like that before. Okay, I'm going to love. This is the first, right? <laughs> she laughing. And we, will we be using condoms? Or... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. <laughs> still bad. And we're still watching this. She still five minutes ago. Yeah. See, I'll be this nigga. I'll be this nigga. I feel bad for the homie though, cause you know he going through it right now. <laughs> nobody trying to hear nobody laughing, especially you know what I'm saying. But even though he's not laughing, like trying to you know what I'm saying, trying to be rude. <laughs> I, I would be doing the same shit. But it would be for the same reasons, too. Like, yo, this is actually crazy. It's funny. It's crazy as fuck that this bitch is really doing my nigga like this. She, you know what I'm saying? She really just asks this nigga, if, if, are we going to use condoms? What the fuck, bro? Imagine you got a girlfriend, and she's even entertaining the thought. Immediately, the girl should already have... The moment this nigga mentioned OnlyFans to her and doing it with him, she shouldn't even... No! If he was, like, suggesting her, like, oh, you know, maybe you and your boyfriend should, you know, get on OnlyFans and go up and go crazy, then now you she can entertain that a little bit. But even then, just very little bit. Ah, oh, well, let me wait till my boyfriend comes downstairs we can talk about this. But you talking about it with this nigga and his homie. His homie. This has got to be the smoking gun. Honestly, like, that's why I'm... Like still with Carlos, like because that's crazy. Yeah, basically, yeah. She would be done. Is not the smoking gun. Then just listen to this. And Carlos can't know. Like, I see. My next question was like, was you weren't gonna be open to like to him knowing? No, no. If he was like, he would break up with me. I can't. I'm just saying because it can go both ways. Because like I had a lady and she knows I have only fans and I was doing this as well. No, if Carlos knew he. I don't think you want that. I guess this is business to me. That's you don't want me finding out either, though. It's, it falls more on you than it does. Yo, that's crazy. Like, it's, it's in both of our interests not to tell him. Okay. Because if I tell him, he's going to break up with me. And then he's going right, to... And then he's going to... She's done this before. Too tough to watch, to be honest. She's playing Dorian. They're trying to play Dorian, too. Like, bro, that's my boy right there. Dorian continues his conversation with T with no change in T's responses. So after a couple of minutes, he ends the discussion altogether, thus concluding this test. He was right. Everybody was right. The fact that I was like the only blonde one in this entire situation, that is even harder. She's just money driven at the end of the day. Yeah, I think she failed the second she showed interest. Even though she hasn't taken any steps yet to actually do it, physically do it, to me right there, that shows like complete, like not loyalty. She could tell me that she's gonna do OnlyFans, but what about the next opportunity that comes up? What about the next person that got the bigger bag and what she already trying to chase? That's true. So I gotta, I gotta right. ask you now, Carlos, like, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna walk up there and confront her? Do you wanna have a conversation with her? It's completely up to you. To be honest, when I was paying attention, they was talking about meeting up on like Saturday or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. I honestly want to see exactly if she will follow through with those plans. <laughs> you, want, you want to see if she'll actually go through with it? Yeah. Okay, so, so, so why is it that you want to see if she goes through with it? Is it because you still don't think she's failed it, or is it just because you want to catch her like in the act? I just need to be able to see her and catch her in the act so she has no type of excuse to, to, to try to like manipulate my mind in, in a lower state, you know, try to make yeah. me feel like I'm the one that's insecure. Or I'm I feel that. I feel that. That's, that's called self-awareness right there. When you are in a weak state, okay, and you're able to, when you're in a weak state, you are at most vulnerable for, when the, for the mind games that girls play. I know that all too well because me getting out of a toxic relationship, you know what I'm saying? And I know that when I would like literally put my foot down and be like, look, the disrespect needs to stop. You are not respectful. You don't respect me, bitch. And I knew it deep down that if that was the truth, 
But because I love the person so much, it only took for her to say one thing that, that poked my buttons. You know what I'm saying? They know how to press your buttons. When they know your buttons, that's the most dangerous thing. When a girl knows the, which buttons to press, it only took that one thing to make me start to think, oh, damn, am I wrong? And that's fucked up. And that's only when you're in a vulnerable state. Now, now, if she would, if any girl or even her would have to, I'd be like, yo, get your weird ass out of my face. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that he's self-aware enough to know that and be like, look, man, uh, you know, let's do this so that way I can make sure that she ain't got no, no type of motherfucking excuse. And if she still does, I don't care because it's all you're caught in the act. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, or you could just have the right support system and just, you know, because this is definitely enough proof for me. This is enough proof. For me. If I saw my girl doing this, it's over. It's over. It's going to hurt. But the fact that you're even entertaining it is crazy. She said, well, we use condoms. What? That means she just agreed to seeing, to fucking a nigga. It's in crazy. That is, oh, that's over. That's out. That's out. No one else is wrong. You know? Got it. That makes sense. But hold me. <laughs> well, that means until then, you can't act like none of this happened. Yeah. This man's a savage. <laughs> so let's try to let's go through. Let's play this off. Yeah, just just play it off. Maybe just go over your camera. Uh, make it look like you actually wore this jacket. He's strong for being. Able to, I would not have been able to play that off. You, I mean, so I wear my emotions. I wear my heart on the sleeve. So it's like you go. I don't care what emotion I'm feeling. You gonna see it. If I'm mad, you're gonna see it. Even if I'm trying my hardest to fucking hide it. You know what I'm gonna say? It doesn't matter what emotion. I don't know. That's just me, man. I'm a cancer, so, you know. The pictures. So despite T's intentions being overwhelmingly clear, Carlos wanted to take this test one step further. All right. Damn, you always cold as hell up. Yeah. All right, boys. So we're wrapped. Make sure to text me your cash apps. I think Carlos was fully convinced that T failed this test. I also believe his reasoning for wanting to keep it going. Like, he knows how T is, and he probably knows that if he were to confront her right here, right now, she would probably find a way to manipulate the situation or deny everything. But I want to know what you guys think. So far, what's your guys' analysis of this test? Do you guys think T has failed, or do you guys think she still has a chance at But see, even if she tried to manipulate it, you got footage of her saying this shit. So how could she still manipulate it? What would she say? What would she say when you... No, we got the footage, bitch. You, this isn't you. This isn't you saying, oh, my God, to him, to him showing you his dick. This isn't you saying, oh, when, are we going to use condoms? So you're essentially implying that you guys are going to have sex. You're considering having sex with another nigga, even though you got a fucking boyfriend upstairs. I don't see how she can manipulate that, you know? She will still try, but it, it won't... It won't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not... She's just talking. It's not the truth. It don't matter what she said. But I feel him though. When you, when you in love, bro, and you in a weak state, it's hard to explain, man. It's it's fucked up. As always, let me know in the comments below. At Vega, we put plant-based nutrition into every scoop. Last video, we announced an iPhone giveaway, and there were tons of submissions, so it took us a lot longer than expected to select the winners, but I'm happy to say that the winners have been selected. You gotta pretend for an entire week, part two. But with that being said, back to the video. An entire week had passed since the first part of this test, and we were now ready to execute part two. Throughout the week, Dorian kept in touch with T and sent her the address to this beautiful home that we rented out. Dorian, though, kept her under the impression that he bought this home. Now, Carlos had the toughest job. He had to pretend for an entire week like he had no idea what his girlfriend was about to do behind his back. That's crazy. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to do that. You think so? I had time to be able to think things through and stuff like that, so I'm not as, like, you know, like, down about everything. It's kind of just, like, it's time to just get this done so I can go on ahead and enjoy my my life here on board and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, we start doing what I want to do. There was a high chance that T was going to come, but we wanted to give My nigga took a shot. I feel him. Carlos, I feel him. I would have been on the same tip. Hello? Hello. What's up, Carlos? What you doing? Um, I'm just trying to get some clothes and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry, hear me. You said something about you guys sticking in today? Uh, no. No, we're not. So, he, you just playing us? Yeah, we're just playing us. 
Yeah, he did. Okay, I don't know why you would say that. That's kind of weird, but no, we're not, we're not hanging out. Okay, yeah, he probably just playing with me, to be honest. It's all good, though. But what you got planned yeah. for today? Um, I don't know. I'm probably just going to, like, go to the store. I got to get groceries. I just kind of chill. All right, sounds good. I'm about to hit the gym and then probably just uh knock out a couple extra errands. Yeah. After that, I'll just okay. hit you. All right. all right, bye. She really yeah. denied that. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. She already failed. That's what she yeah, she already As failed. Best case scenario now, this could cause her to like change her mind, maybe. She's a good liar though, I'll give her that. Yeah. She, she but she thinks she she got the upper hand on everybody right now. She so. do think she got the upper she, hand. She, she, <laughs> she, 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 this is chess, not checkers. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. You coming to take out the queens and She's calling that Jones. You. She's calling you. She's calling you. Just ask her if she's coming through. Hello. Jordan? What's up? Dude, what the f is wrong with you? Why was you so calm about we're gonna hang out? I never. What? I didn't tell him we hanging out. He just called me and he was like, "Oh, are you and Jordan gonna kick it?" Nah, I didn't even tell him. Like, what you mean? Wait. What the f are you doing? Nah, no, nah, I was just playing around with him, like you know, because you know we mess around all the time. Like, you can joke about literally like anything. Like, why do you? This is like it's so no. Like, don't. I was cool, calm, and collected at first when we, when we was talking downstairs. And yeah. Hey, by the way, those Starbucks refreshers, y'all put some, some some tequila in them bitches. Woo! <laughs> Fire shit. But now that like it's about to go down, I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous. Hey, that's the hard truth about life. That's the hard truth about relationships. They don't last forever, people. Damn. You hear that, Angel? Yeah, marriage ain't gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I'm married? <laughs> hey, what's up? You just got here? You outside? I think she might be here. I think Dorian's getting a call. This was it. Tally had arrived exactly as she said she would, so Dorian makes his way outside to grab her. Yes, I think she's here. You sure she doesn't see? No, 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 she's good. She's good. We're good. What's up? What's up? Preparing How to get clapped. That's crazy. Long? How long? Traffic? That's the only traffic for you. You sure you inside? Come on in. Oh, so they, so they, yeah, so I was about to say it. Good, how was the drive? Long? How long? Traffic? That's the LA traffic for you. Okay, I knew that, I knew there was in LA. Come on in. Yeah. Top 1% when the fans money. Let me, uh, let me show you upstairs real Nigga quick. Nigga said top one percent. over, and as planned, Dorian took her upstairs to the quote-unquote content room. Now, no, Dorian wasn't going to do anything with T. That would honestly be hella disrespectful to Carlos, and it just wasn't necessary. Carlos already knew that she is ass. Anyway, I could just tell. for Dorian to show her the content room and then take her to the backyard where Carlos wanted to confront her. I don't know what to say. I'm just kind of like, my mind is everywhere right now. Cause it's literally she's here. So this is where, you know, the content gonna happen. Um, you can just go ahead and like lay your stuff down right here. Um, get comfy, you know. Should I show you what I brought? Yeah, let me see what you brought. Okay, this was very unexpected. See, throughout the week, Dorian told T to bring lingerie, and now I guess she wanted to show him that lingerie. Ooh, I like it. Tag still, <laughs> tag still on it and everything. All right. What do you like? What's your favorite? I'm just keep it laid out. Put on whatever you want to put on. I'm going to give you a little privacy real quick so you can go to change, all right? Okay. Oh, change, into, change into what? Damn. Change into what? Change into, like, I guess the launch ring or something. I don't know. Now, this was even more unexpected. Dorian That's crazy. Dorian asked T to change into her lingerie, and she's doing it. She got multiple pieces? She, yeah, she got ready for this. Man, I think that liquid luck is hitting. Hopefully, Dorian doesn't take it any further, though, and just sticks to our original plan. I feel like patience really played a good role in, in everything. Yeah. And it's based off the fact that she literally has no excuse. Okay, okay. Hey, he, hey, yeah, he, man, 
shit. I'm like Jay Z, nigga. I hate. I ain't got no patience, and I hate waiting. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I cannot do that shit, bro. I there is no, especially because I love hard, bro. I love hard. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if I'm in a situation where I've been with a girl for super long, I done gave everything I, I for, of me to her. You know what I'm saying? And she do this. She already failed on the first time they, you know did this before they went to this new house she already failed so there is no way i could go a whole week dealing with that pain there's no way so kudos to this nigga for having control over his emotions and being patient because lord knows i could not do that shit that's out you look good that's what i see her only excuse is gonna be that she like you didn't actually do anything without but I mean, she's here. If we wait about like another hour, I guarantee no reason to wait. I already got it. all the answers I need. That's it. I don't need to see no more. I mean, I was thinking before we get started, I just wanted to like show you the place a little bit more. You feel me? You only saw like the front door and what? Yeah. All right, come on, let me show you around. You, yeah, you can put on my easy slides. Wow. And with that, Dorian segues back to our original plan. Washer, dryer, garage over there. I have a pool. I have a pool. You see that thing right now? You think she what? You think she left anything in the room? You want to go check the room? <laughs> Let's go check the room. Let's go check the room. I'm not going to ask for permission no more. <laughs> Let me go see. What the f? Oh, sh. This that chocolate that I'll be talking about. I can't even be mad at her, to be honest, because this that cheap sh. <laughs> like, what the f is this? This a f piece of shoestring. <laughs> she still got the, f the tags on it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see exactly what type of energy she bringing. Oh, he pulled up chairs. Oh, he pulled up chairs by the pool. Say less. I'm about to rub that smile right off her face. Let's go. Let's run it. And so after a crazy long test filled with overwhelming evidence, Carlos finally decides to confront T. There is no telling how T is going to react, but I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. <laughs> because you guys already know. This shit's going to be good. FOMO is the worst, isn't it, Mark? I don't drink lattes. No, it's a, it's an acronym, fear of missing. She right there having a good time, too. Hey, what up, D? What's good? What up, love? It's kind of weird seeing you here, to be honest. What you, what's good, my boy? Wait, 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 wait my fault. Be good. She right there having a good time, too. Hey, what up, D? What's good? What up, love? It's kind of weird seeing you here, to be honest. What's good, my boy? Good. I'm sorry. Is this, is this, um... No, the real question is, what are you doing? This is, this is, no, this is not happening right now. I, I, I... Look how, look, look. Look how, look how red she's getting. happening right now. I, 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 I... You, Right. What is this? Why, who are these people and why are they filming me? Don't worry about it. No, let me let, it. let me know what you're doing here. No, let me know what you're doing here. That's a violation of my privacy. No, it's not, bitch. Okay, you don't have the permission to film me. Can you please turn the cameras off? Look, do you know where you're sitting right now? Do you know who you're sitting next to? Why can't they talk? Don't worry about them. Focus on me. Do you know who you're sitting next to right now? Business. How you gonna be in a relationship with me and say this none of my business? What are you even doing here? I thought you were gonna run errands. I thought you was running. I was going to. Run. Yo, females are crazy. She really trying to. She's really. This is why. He knew. He knows her well enough to know that she probably does this all the time when she gets into some shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably why he did that. That's for sure why he waited a week. So that way he completely cornered her. She ain't got no rooms right now. She looks so stupid. He's he is. He's very, very, very in control of his emotions and very, a lot better than me in terms of that. Because me, nigga, oh man, she would have been done. But, you know, this is why he did that. Because now she looks extra retarded. She's really still trying to find a way to put this on this nigga. This is crazy. This is fucking insane. What are you even doing here? I thought you were going to run errands. I thought you was running. I was going to run them later. I'm running my errands. This, this is your errands. Yeah. Me, spying on me. To be honest, you really have no reason to be upset with me right now. Right. Hey, look, I found these upstairs. So you explain those to me. What's going on? What, what are you, what are you, look, this is nothing. This is nothing. What, I'm not, what, this is just for content. It's nothing. 
I mean, with my with my best friend, that that's that's okay to you. It's better if you was just doing your own thing and, and making your own content on your own time rather than waste my time and then embarrass me in front of everybody trying to make content what? with my best I'm friend. Embarrassing you? Yes, you were. Embarrassing me? You could have been. I'm just civil bringing your true colors out to life. To be honest. You could have been civil and you could have confronted me one on one about this. Tell me more shit you want. Shut up, bitch. How long have you been doing this? How long? How long have you been? How long, how long have you been cheating? This isn't cheating. No. How is this? What's your definition of cheating? Please tell me. Enlighten me on your definition of cheating. Do we kiss? Do we kiss? We're gonna record a whole movie. What are you talking about? Thank you for being in on this. Seriously, we didn't kiss. We didn't do anything. We didn't. This isn't cheating. So you was you so you so you gonna tell me? Sounds stupid. Not having a condom when you was over here. That's what you're telling. You had to hear it. He heard the conversation. I heard the conversation. Whatever he told you is a. You want to know what? I didn't say that. I don't know what to say. You should not even be here. You should not even be filming me. You don't have the right. None of you have the right to film me right now. So f all of you. Hey, yo, sir. I can't even. Shut up. Explain to her why we're here. Explain to her why we're here. Because I can't. Because I can't. I can't hear her no more. To be honest. This is why I didn't even tell you. You mad? You mad that you're cheating? You mad that you're disloyal? You know exactly what I've been through, and based off the fact that you can still try to defend yourself in this situation shows how trifling you really are. Right. It's not a normal reaction to someone who thinks that their girlfriend is cheating. I didn't do anything. And it's not okay? a normal relationship for your girl to go on ahead and make content with your best friend and be okay with not using a condom. That was a joke. It was a joke. The only but joke that's here is you. Right. Dead ass. You a joke, you know, if you stop bitch. Talking, let, my sir, let my boy Sir go on ahead and tell you why they're here so you can stop coming at the camera crew like that. I don't even know where to start. So... This entire thing was a test, right? I'm sure you know that, but we actually have been recording, like not just today, but also last time when you brought Carlos's jacket, we recorded that as well. And I have some footage here for you to like watch, listen to if you want to see it. You. Hey, yo, that was his. You. I mean, what did he expect? Why would you hand this en enraged bitch of your phone like that? You really think you were just gonna sit there and watch that shit? It ain't no more. It ain't nothing worse than when you just got caught cheating. I can't relate because I've never, i never been cheating. But it's in a situation like this, you caught looking stupid as shit. Okay, it ain't nothing worse more after you got caught looking stupid as shit. Okay, and the nigga sitting there with a smile on his face and trying to be all nice. And you know what? Yeah. So we actually have some footage. Of it. I don't know if you want to look at it. <laughs> that nigga. No. What the fuck? This nigga smiling in his face trying to be nice and shit. He know what he doing. At least he ain't going to the pool, yo. I think the pool is better. I mean, the nice water is it? Hey! Why you throw such a phone like that? Nah, dead ass, you have no right to throw his phone like that. What, she went upstairs? She went upstairs? So that's what you want to do? You want to go ahead and throw people's phone? You what, you mad that you a cheater? Oh, you mad, huh? Mad, huh? Oh, you're going to go show energy to somebody else, though, right? That's all you do. Unless it's in your convenience, you don't like it. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That bitch is ass anyway, bro. Go ahead. Keep walking out. You know you wrong. Like, <laughs> this bitch is ass and she broke. Come on, man. You know you wrong. You know you wrong. You know you wrong. You know you wrong. Bye. Ryan, get Bye. your weird ass out of here, stupid bitch. That shit crazy. Oh, nah, it's crazy. It's just a screen protector. Nah, it's just a screen protector. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just a screen protector. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Man. Man, oh, man. I'd say I'm surprised, but it's like, man, these bitches are just, they're just getting worse and worse every day, man. <sighs> All right, man, that's for this video. Make sure you guys love them.